<clears throat> Welcome to this very first episode of Real Ass History. I'm your host, Strongbeer the Barbarian. Many people think that the ancient Greeks were black, and those people would be correct. We have stories passed to us from ancient Greek scholars such as Aphrostotle. Stories that tell a different story than perhaps the stories you're used to. I just so happen to be a collector of these stories in my pursuit of real ass history. So, seeing as I have some of these stories on me, how about I share one with you today? Let's see. I'm dealing with scrolls here. Ah, here we are. The perfect story for today, Kid Nicarus. <clears throat> Once upon a time, long, long ago, there lived a lad. And because he didn't know his dad, he acted really, really bad. And I wonder if he was sad on that fateful day they took his black ass away. Nicarus, we knew, we knew, that nigga done flew and flew. Flew too high, they say. But I guess that is the way things go, you know. Well, Nicarus was just a kid. And he didn't have a single quid to pay his bail. Oh well, oh well. And that judge was harsh on the final bid. If he could have run, he would have gone and hid. But there was no place to hide from that danged old jail cell. Nicarus, they say, they say, forever is a long, long way away, and eternity takes a long damn time when you ain't done no crime, especially near the end. But our friend Nicarus a genius was, and his brain went to working with a buzz, and in his mind he knew, he knew, if only wings he had would grew. So Nicarus told his fingers to the bone with merry dreams of returning home, making wings from the wax of his ears. He worked and worked for years and years. Nicarus gonna fly, you'll see, you'll see. Flap his wings all the way to the danged old sea. Maybe then he'll need some fins. While riding high on those lofty winds. And after an era had seemed to pass, Nicarus' works were done at long last. He flapped his new-made wings way up high with the promise of freedom ever so nigh. Soaring ever higher into the firmament, his liberation became ever more evident. But there was one problem. Nicarus's wings were white. And they were racist. And they dropped his black ass all the way down to the ground from the sky. The moral of the story? If you're gonna make some wings to escape out of prison or jail, don't make those wings white. Because you can't rely on white wings when you got a black ass. That concludes our first episode of Real Ass History. I'd like to thank you for joining me again. This is Strongbeard the Barbarian. Stay tuned for more episodes.